Other than my parents, I was the only other person at the supper table Sunday evening, but there was enough food for twice as many people. We'd spent the first five minutes raving about Mama's fried chicken, how much we had enjoyed Reverend Jessup's sermon a few hours ago, and other mundane things. When Daddy cleared his throat and looked at me with his jaw twitching, I knew the conversation was about to turn toward my spinsterhood. I hired a new stock boy the other day, and I told him all about you. He is just itching to get acquainted. This one is a real nice, young, single man, Daddy said, looking at me from the corner of his eye. I froze because I knew where this conversation was going. My old maid status. The last real nice young single man Daddy had hired to work in our store and tried to dump off on me was a 55-year-old tobacco-chewing widowed grandfather named Buddy Armstrong. There had been several others before him. Each one had grandkids and health problems. Daddy was 82, so to him, anybody under 60 was young. He and Mama had tried to have children for 30 years before she gave birth to me 30 years ago, when she was 48. But I hadn't waited this long to settle for a husband, who'd probably become disabled or die of old age before he could give me the children I desperately wanted. I was tempted to stay quiet and keep my eyes on the ads for scarves in the new Sears and Roebuck catalog that I had set next to my plate, but I knew that if I didn't say something on the subject within the next few seconds, Daddy would harp on it until I did. Mama would join in, and they wouldn't stop until they'd run out of things to say, and then they would start all over again. I took a deep breath and braced myself. Daddy, I work as a teacher's aide. What do I have in common with a stock boy? Daddy raised both of his thick gray eyebrows and looked at me like I was speaking a foreign language. Huh, y'all both single. That's what y'all got in common, he growled. I can find somebody on my own, I boomed. I never raised my voice unless I was really upset, like I was now. Daddy shook his head. Since you 30 now and still ain't got no husband or even a boyfriend, it don't look like you having much luck finding somebody on your own, girl.